Scientists in Southampton are hoping that exciting new research on leukaemia could be turned into a treatment to help children with the disease. For many youngsters, the months of chemotherapy can have terrible side effects. But the discovery of a molecule which helps kill the cancer cells much more quickly could mean gentler treatment. In a moment, I'll be speaking to the team that made the find. But first, here's our health correspondent, David Fenton. Ollie is 11. Two years ago, he needed chemotherapy for acute myeloid leukaemia. It makes you feel a bit dazed, really, and dizzy, even though you kind of know it's helping you, but still you think, why are they doing this to me? Because you just think, they're just making it worse. These are the models Ollie made in hospital. He had to stop when the chemotherapy temporarily blinded him. He had pneumonia. He lost his sight for almost a week, and he was in terrible pain. You never think it's going to happen to you, but ultimately, you know, it landed in our home and, um, you know, we had to go through it and have him treated. Ollie's now in remission. And scientists at this laboratory are working on kinder ways to treat leukaemia. They've found a molecule that kills the cancer cells a million times more effectively. This would mean we'd be able to treat patients at very much lower levels, much lower doses, which means a, a much safer approach to their treatment and, and fewer side effects. And of course, there's a lot more laboratory studies we'll need to conduct before we'll be able to take it anywhere near patients. But that will take money, and times are tight. This machine counts the cancer cells. It costs them £80,000, but they can't afford to have it serviced. It's an expensive business to make this work as a, as a treatment generally. We're going to have to enter into a partnership with some biotechnology or pharmaceutical company. Five pounds, please. Thank you. It was charity, not big business, that made this discovery possible. Jane Beaumont's organised a clothes party. Five pounds to get in, all proceeds to leukaemia busters. I'm hoping to raise two or three hundred pounds tonight. We've done other things in the past that we've managed to raise a, a, about a thousand or fifteen hundred for. <laughs> Jane's daughter, Annabelle, who had leukaemia when she was six, is handing out the tickets. It's a very gruelling, very tough treatment and it takes a long time. If there's just a, a gentler, safer and quicker way for them to be treated, that would just be fantastic. Jane's party raised 200 pounds. Developing a new drug will cost millions. David Fenton, BBC South Today. I'm delighted to say that David and B. Flavel, the two scientists at the centre of this research, are here with me in the studio. Find of a lifetime, can we describe it as that? Is I, that I, how you see it? I, I think that's probably true, Sally, but, but for us, only the find of a lifetime if we can actually make this work in people. That's the big quantum leap to take now from the laboratory to translate it into clinical trials in and people. And as you say, that is a big leap. I mean, we just saw there, I mean, you've, you've survived on charitable donations, purely mm. on that. Mm. It's, you know, hundreds of pounds here and there how do you make this massive leap from what is just a few you know that sort of money into what the millions that you need to carry on this research and make it happen well the first thing to say I think is that that people in the south of England have been incredibly um, generous over the years none of what we've achieved so far it's true to say would, would have would have actually happened if it hadn't been for them so that's the first thing to say but you're quite right we need to raise lots more in order to turn this into a clinical treatment how much more what sort of uh, figures? how many noughts are we talking about uh, we're talking about three I believe about three million to, to five million over the next five years to get this research to I a believe sort of a conclusion. so yeah, yeah. B I mean when, when people hear this people we get all excited we talk about breakthroughs mm. and things like that but realistically I mean as a scientist that you are, from this moment to it actually happening, if it's successful and it could help children, what time frame are you talking about? Oh, that's a very good question and a very important one, Sally. I mean, uh, we are remaining quietly confident that you know we get this uh, through into clinical trial within three to five years. Three to five years, yes. so it could it actually be working. Well. That's yes. extraordinary, yes. isn't it? I mean, you that's agree? an amazing time. Well, I, I agree. It is an extraordinary time, but I think that's presumably mm. everything goes right. Yeah. There's still a lot of hurdles do, to overcome. Do you both pinch yourself when you realise <laughs> that you could be at this moment? You know, you mm. could help so many mm. people mm. if mm. it works. Mm. Mm. You pinch yourself. I, I think we probably 
do, although we might not realise we're doing that. I, I think the job of the scientist is to take a discovery and, and to, to develop it as much as possible, as quickly as possible. Uh, yes, it is, it is a find of a lifetime, uh, and we're delighted with it, but we can't take the full credit for it. It's German yeah, it's a team colleagues. Of people, well. A team of people. Yes, David and B, yes. thank you so much for coming in, thank and the, thank you for letting us follow you with all this research. Thank it's brilliant you. to meet thank you. you. Thank you, and good Pleasure. luck with the future. If you thank want to find more much. about the research, just go to Leukemia's Busters website. That's leukemiabusters.org.uk. Find out a lot more about the research.